It's getting late. Where to now? Look at all his fans. Need I say more? <laughs> Behold, the winner of the most awesome researcher contest. Huh, it's better if I don't show my face. See if you can get some intel out of him. Confess that I too was terrified. Petrified, even. That light. Ah, Master Capote! Oh, it's you! Long time no see. Come, join the others and listen to me recount the. The Antimatter Legion barely missed me. And that. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Such is the power of my. Arlen? Uh. Yes. I, I know him. After all, my calling is to light up the hot. Forgive me? But I insert dramatic pause and sudden drama here. Everyone knows the most important word in my life is principle. Huh? Without principle. Wait a minute. Last time he said the most important word in his life was illumination. We need to update Master Capote's life wiki. This will be version 12.0 of his life keywords. <clears throat> Uh, anyway, um, I do not lie. I, I can tell you that I did indeed meet Arlen recently. Regrettably, I already swore on my li- Seems like you already know what kind of person I am. Captain Arlen had a similar expression to yours when he found me. He was anxious and desired an answer. But answers are not easy to give. Besides, he wanted to master a trial of the heart that would you can't even imagine that his words match Arlen's work plan records. Seems like he does have key information. I I I didn't say, <clears throat> uh what 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 I said was so I know nothing. I can't let him get away like this. Listen here. Leaving aside the fact that you don't have the right to dismiss me, I wouldn't yield. Why not threaten to kill me while you're at it? Master Capote is so great. You said the exact yes, the part about- I'm gonna print out the transcript? I didn't think a clue like that would suddenly pop up. <laughs> this is the one who mentioned the transcript. Hey, you've been talking Master Capote's ear off this whole time. Ah, I bet you... You even memorized the intern... You must be one of those... You're on the same side up? Ah, oh, he looked...
happened to you, Arlen? Why did you have to get that sleazy Capote to help you with a trial? Yeah, I guess that's our starting point. This handwriting looks familiar. Is it Arlen's? Against the scorching sun, a beautiful flower will never endure. Within my fair embrace, my love for you is tender and pure. Yuck, so slimy. It does sound like Capote. Looks like a candid shot, but surely he knew it was being taken. It's autographed. There's a figure that's not quite in the shot. Oh, is that... Arlen? So Arlen did go to see Professor Capote. This is the evidence. Ugh, even the space station handbook doesn't get updated this frequently. Huh. Is this an audio transcript? So, trial of the heart means knowing how to deal with an overbearing boss. So that's how Arlen sees me. I need to talk to him. Let's hurry up and find him. Peppy, it's your turn again. Security department staff. There are still remnants of the antimatter legion in the space station. Let's go help them. Reach the end of the story in your own way. What are you doing here? Then be careful. There's still Legion remnants in the area. Arlan isn't here right now, so we need to step up the space station security. Spare no effort and stay focused. 
Yes, Brother Don Hong. I'm only helping Arlan. You're here to look for him, right? He's with March. But I suggest you don't bother him. He's given himself a personal trial. Ugh. Brother Arlen's special trial? He's a man among men, a lion among tigers. He's already reached great heights, but ha, still he wants to improve. That trial, I bet it's even more intense than physical training. And Brother Arlen already challenges himself to the limit in that department. He runs 21,358 meters around the space station every day. An eagle among wolves, always so hard on himself. I think it must have something to do with the mind. He probably found a waterfall and asked Ms. March to lower the temperature to freezing point. <laughs> no way. Brother Arlen's trial wouldn't be as simple as just standing under a waterfall. I think he wants to learn fighting skills from Miss March. They're not correct, but not wrong either. Arlan came to me to learn how to manage pressure from his boss. So I sent him to March. If he can manage her, then he has nothing to fear. I think Brother Don Hung is pretty smart. Brother Arlen only has one weakness in his armor, but he won't ignore it. He's too awesome for that. Arlan and I decided to switch our assignments. He went with March to investigate a suspicious crystal, and I have taken up his patrol. That's all? He gave me a pass for access across the space station while on patrol. I found a broken ceiling tile! This mark? It must be from where Brother Arlen smashed it down! Move aside, what kind of clue is that? This floor tile I found is way better. Look at the footprint. It's the right size, not to mention the angle of motion. This is proof of Brother Arlen in combat. He said he read an anonymous handwritten journal in the space station. It contained 36 different strategies to do with managing pressure from one's boss. It also contained some information on trials. Firstly, trial of the heart. One needs to acknowledge the pressure in one's heart, and only then can one face it. Secondly, trial of the mirror. Like a mirror's reflection, one needs to personally experience the pressure others feel in a job in order to understand it. Lastly, trial of the self. One places oneself within that pressure to complete a transformation. I believe he came to me to complete the trial of the mirror. No, he didn't say, and I didn't ask. Brother Arlen doesn't need a reason to improve himself. Brother Arlen is a fierce fighter with an eye for detail. If you don't understand his reason for doing things, maybe that's because you're too zoomed in. He's just staying ahead of the game is all. He's the space... If you want to find Arlan, just contact March. How to manage your boss? Arlen, I'm sorry. I never knew I was giving you so much pressure. Hmm. I need to feel the pressure he's feeling so I can understand what it's all about. Oh, there's a photo of Peppy on the pass. I got Arlen to look after Peppy because I thought they got along, but is that giving him too much extra pressure? Oh, maybe he printed out Peppy's picture as a way of forcing himself to remember his responsibility. Oh, look how smashed up the ceiling tile is. Arlen must have bottled up his frustration and had no way of releasing it, so he took it out on the monsters. It's Arlen's shoe size, all right. And this actually came from a pair of shoes I bought for him. Maybe even these shoes are painful shackles for him. 
Yeah. We need to find Arlen quickly. I need to apologize to him in person. Peppy? Let's get going. So Peppy can locate March just by looking at a photo of her. Uh, is he really using scent to track? about Don Hung being a true warrior or something. Oh, he did say that completing an assignment with me would help him complete the final trial. <laughs> it felt like he learned a lot from me. Then again, everyone has a lot to learn from me. <laughs> we were investigating suspicious crystals together, but he said it was all pointless if he couldn't trans himself? I could tell he was giving himself a lot of pressure, so I gave him a suggestion. I told him actions speak louder than words when you want to prove yourself. I was just thinking out loud, really. I had no idea what kind of trial he was doing. But when he heard that, he said, Mr. Don Hung was right. And then he just left. I took a photo of him. <laughs> he was doing one of those tough guy walks. Come to think of it, maybe I shouldn't have left him alone. Take me with you if you're going after him.
Stellaron's internal fluctuations will cause a fragmentum to appear. Did hey, relax. I've seen plenty of Stellarons. It'll be fine. I hope Arlen is safe. The extent of the corrosion here is a lot worse than I imagined. Mrs. Hinkle did say the cleanup had been slow in places. The Fragmentum has a big influence on the space around it. Uh, Lady Asta, you... Why are you all here? I've never seen anything like this before. It looks like some kind of new entity. It must have mutated after being corroded. Move carefully. Gotta try hard sometimes. Watch this awesome move! The truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Reach the end of the story in your own way. Are you okay, my lady? Lady Asta? Why are you crying? Are you hurt? I'm sorry. Uh huh? It's all my fault. I've been putting too much on your plate, and that's why you looked up ways to manage the pressure. I I honestly didn't realize that, that these things would bring you so much stress. I just I just want to say I I'm sorry. My lady, I... You didn't give me any pressure. Arlen, you don't need to hide this from me any longer. He and I know all about the trials you're putting yourself through. If you can't forgive me right now, then... I'll reflect further and, and find a way to prove that I'm willing to change. But... My lady... Firstly... Your trial of the heart. You went to Professor Capote and asked him to simulate conversations with you so you could better understand your boss. And the evidence is... Firstly, your trial of the heart. You win and the evidence is... Firstly, and the evidence is... This limited edition... 
Mission Snapshot! This was taken by a member of the Master Capote fan club less than 24 hours ago. In other words, you went to find Professor Capote today and stopped responding to messages in the same time window. I... no need to launch your defense. We haven't got to the core yet. Uh, this evidence is a bit of a stretch. Do we have anything better? Master Capote's Life Wiki version 12.0. This transcript records what you ask Capote to help you with. Here, we can see a book. Clearly, Professor Capote is unlikely to master my speech or mannerisms anytime soon. Oh, but the content is the key here. I am the source of your pressure! Uh, my lady, I did speak to Professor Capote, and I did ask him some things, but they had nothing to do with you. I've never experienced any pressure with you. Oh, Harlan, won't you accept my apology? <sighs> I'll just have to show you more evidence. We know the essence of your trial of the heart, and we also know that you asked Dunhung to help you complete the trial of the mirror. I'm so sorry, Arlen. Until I spoke with Dunhung, I never realized how much pressure was on your shoulders. Miss, I really don't. Uh, hold it. I have evidence. Later. I know you can be tough, but you're not violent by nature, Arlen. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Breaking a ceiling tile like this shows how much pressure and anger you were carrying around. Uh, <laughs> this interpretation is sounding a little odd. Do we have any other evidence? This footprint! I bought these shoes for you. I remember the size and the design. This is undoubtedly your footprint. But I can tell a lot from the details. Such as, um, you, you used a lot of force. You had a lot of pressure, so you stomped really hard. Oh, she can't even make things up anymore. You have more evidence, right? Your ID pass! This isn't just any old station pass, is it, huh? There's a very important photo on it. A photo of Peppy! Lady Asta, I like Peppy a lot, so I, uh... No, no, Arlen. You don't need to find excuses for your actions. Oh, maybe you've actually convinced yourself. The combination of your simulated conversations with Capote and the entry in your work log about playing a hollow disc with Peppy. It points to one thing. Me getting you to look after Peppy is the greatest source of your stress. You, you even printed out a photo of Peppy to constantly remind yourself to look after him. I know exactly what message you're trying to drill into yourself by sticking this photo onto your pass. Arlen, taking Peppy out to play is an assignment from lead researcher Asta. You better throw that hollow disc like it's a full-on discus. If you spare any effort, Lady Asta will find out and punish you terribly for all eternity. M my lady, don't you think that's a long thought to think? Lady Asta, please! I didn't do any of these trials because of you. I always try to complete every assignment you give me, regardless of whether it's within my job description. I really like taking Peppy out to play. Asta, 
I don't think Arlan is upset with you. But Arlan doesn't have any other bosses. Who else would it be? March, he asked to accompany you so he could learn how to manage his stress, right? What? Arlan wanted to go on assignments just to experience stress? Phew. Good thing I let him go alone. My calming influence would have ruined his training. <laughs> Guess I made the right decision after all. What did he say? That I'm good at solving people's problems? Oh, Arlen, all I want you to understand is how sincerely I'm reflecting on my actions. Please, accept my apology. But, my lady... Stop! Arlen, I understood the level of stress you're dealing with as soon as I saw this photo. take that photo? I'm always giving you tasks and assignments, but I never actually see how you take to the battlefield. When I saw this photo, when I saw you fighting alone just now, I'm just sorry that I gave you the stress of all my private affairs on top of an already stressful job. Please, forgive me, Arlen. <sighs> My lady, I... I'm very touched, but... I started this trial because of Madame Herta. What? Whenever she's back on the space station, Madame Herta assigns me things outside the security department remit. <sighs> Even if I dared to refuse, I wouldn't know how. She's just... Too overbearing. Whether it's helping her test some new specimen, or looking for ancient documents I've never even heard of. Assignments like those were okay before the invasion. <sighs> but now, I need to focus on clearing out any last traces of the Legion. Aha! So you're trying to- Yes. I found an anonymous handwritten journal while I was cleaning up. It mentioned 36 different strategies for relieving pressure. That's where I read about the trials. Yes. There were detailed notes, so... I wanted to give them a try. I'm sorry, my lady. I didn't want to bother anyone, so... I didn't mention it. So, you don't feel pressured around me? I've never felt pressured around you, my lady. All right, all right. It's all a misunderstanding. You two should reflect on your actions. Right? Thank you for helping Lady Asta. And for coming to find me. Hey, you're welcome. Although if you really want to thank me, let me play Hollow Disc with Peppy, please. 